Unpleasant Wednesday afternoon to you, moms and dads, boys and girls. Welcome to Children's Bible Minute brought to you by the Anglican Diocese of Belize. Graffi, Muki, and I are excited that you could be with us today on this Monday afternoon. Today is the fourth day of November. Just like that, we are four days in. Can you believe it? November is flying by. Yes, it is. Today, we continue our look at the Bible heroes. Today, we're going to be looking at a guy called Habakkuk. And Habakkuk was also a prophet who had a message from God to deliver to God's people. And guess what? Habakkuk was a little worried about the message he had to deliver. And he was worried about the well-being of his people. But at the end of the day, guess what God told Habakkuk to do? He told Habakkuk, relax, which is what I want you to do. I want you to sit back, relax, and listen to today's story about Habakkuk. Here we go. Hey kids, we're starting a new series on the book of Habakkuk. What's a Habakkuk? It's a book in the Bible, in the Old Testament. Can you guess the name of the guy who wrote it? That's right, Habakkuk. What a weird name. Habakkuk was a prophet of God. A prophet's job was to speak for God to his people. It wasn't a very fun job. God's people were always messing up and making God mad. Whenever that happened, God would talk to the prophet about it. And then the prophet had to talk to the people about it. The name Habakkuk means to wrestle. That's weird. Why would you ever name your kid Wrestler? Oh, sweet. It's a weird name, but it's good for Habakkuk. He had to wrestle with the people all the time, telling them to stop making bad choices. He didn't wrestle them like that. He wrestled them with his words. He also wrestled with God, because they didn't always agree. So he asked God lots of questions. Why do mean people seem to get away with bad behavior? Why don't you do anything about it? Why do I have such a weird name? God had one simple answer. For Habakkuk. God told Habakkuk to relax. God was God and Habakkuk was just a little man with a weird name. I'm not that small. I sound that weird. <laughs> Habakkuk needed to know that God had it under control. Hey, that rhymes. And this is what God told him. The Lord replied, Look around at the nations. Look and be amazed. For I am do doing something in your own day. Something you wouldn't believe, even if somebody told you about it. Oh boy, I wonder what God was going to do. Stay tuned, because we'll talk about it next week. When you look around, things don't always make sense. Tell God about it. And if you listen really hard, you just might hear him say what he said to Habakkuk. R E L A X. God's got it under control. Memory verse. Look at the proud. They trust in themselves, and their lives are crooked. But the righteous will live by the faithfulness to God. Have faith and just relax. We want to thank PursueGodKids.org for that one. And that's it. Habakkuk was being stressed out, but we could understand why Habakkuk was stressed out. He was stressed out because he had a message to give to God's people, and God's people didn't always want to listen. He kept wrestling with the people because he had that back and forth with them in conversation because he was telling them what God had to say, and they didn't really want to hear what God had to say. Imagine that. But you know something? Sometimes we have to be persistent because the battle is not ours. The battle belongs to God. And even if we have a message that the people don't want to hear, we have to understand it is not us that they are rejecting. They are rejecting, you got it, God. And so God told Habakkuk, you know what? 
just relax. When things seem to be going crazy, I still have control. When things aren't going the way you plan, I have control. When people don't want to listen to you, I have control. When the vine is empty of grapes and food seems to be scarce and you want to stress out yourself, relax. Trust in God and just relax. And our song for today is based on Habakkuk 3 verses 17 and 19 and it is all about trusting that God is in control. It's a little bit different in tune and video, but let's have a listen anyway. Here we go. Even though the fig trees have no blossoms and there are no graves on the vine, even though the olive crop fails and the fields lie empty and barren. Even though the flocks die in the field And the cat lungs are empty Yet I will rejoice in the Lord I will be joyful yeah. The God of my salvation The God of my salvation The sovereign Lord is my strength he makes me sure, but it has a fear. The God of my salvation, the God of my salvation. He makes me sure, but it has a dear. Oh dear. Able to tread upon the high. I will rejoice in the Lord, the God of my salvation. enjoyed that one Habakkuk 3 17 to 19 even though the fields might be bare and the vines without grapes still I will trust in the God of my salvation because I know that he will provide and that is exactly what Habakkuk, Habakkuk had to do Habakkuk had to relax and trust in God and you know what boys and girls we ought to relax and trust in God too exactly because he is in control of everything the Bible reading says he will make us as sure-footed as the deer so we don't have to worry that our foot would slip or that we won't have his support. Mm -hmm. That's the moral of today's story. Things will not always go as we plan. Things might not go as we want them to all the time. But the God of our salvation is always in control. Mm -hmm. And that's our Bible lesson for today. It really, really is. And big kids and little kids could take that away with them. That if they trust in God, he will ensure that their plans work out for good. Which is something similar that we heard from Jeremiah on Monday, isn't it? That God had a plan for all of us and we have to trust in it. Anyway, we are out of time for today and we have to boot scoot and boogie out of here. But you know that before we go, we would like to say a prayer with you. Is that all right? Could you bow your heads and close your eyes? Excellent. Let us pray. Good afternoon, God. God, we just want to thank you for the opportunity to come into your presence to hear and learn from your words. Today, we heard about a prophet named Habakkuk who wrestled with the people around him because he had a difficult message to bring to them that they didn't always want to hear. He had lots of questions as well for you, God. And you know what? We love that your answer to him was, relax, Habakkuk. I've got this in control. You are the God of our salvation. You are the Alpha and Omega. You know the beginning from the end and you are in control of everything that is or will be. Help us to learn to trust you in this way. Help us to learn to surrender ourselves unto you, knowing that you have got it covered. Help us to be able and willing to spread that message with the world, the world that might be so confused and worried about how things will play out or how things will fall into place. Help them to know that if they trust in you, God, you will make sure that everything be well. You are the God of our salvation. You will cause our feet to be as sure as the feet of theirs. We trust in you. We lift ourselves, our prayers, and all our concerns unto you, knowing that you have got this through the name of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, boys and girls, that's all the time we have for today on Children's Bible Minutes. But as always, Graffy Mookie and I had so much fun with you. And indeed, we look forward to spending more time with you tomorrow when we learn about a new individual from the Bible. Tomorrow, we're going to hear about a lion and a guy in it. I wonder if you know who the guy was that was in the lion's den. Shh, I can't tell you anymore, but we will see you tomorrow. 
Until then, stay home if you can. Stay safe if you can't. Above all else, please remember that God loves you and we do too. Until soon, bye for now. Thank you.